Alright folks, what is up? This is One Big Bug and I'm coming at you with the next game that I told you I'd bring and uh, this one is Sir, You're Being Hunted or in this case, Madame, You're Being Hunted because apparently you can toggle between the two and hell, why not? So I've set the options. Hopefully I've got the game volume down low enough. It sounds pretty loud in my headphones still. Um, but yeah. You can choose to equip several different professions. Each one starts a different equipment. The aristocrat. Uh, the default honorable choice. Good show. Starting equipment. Rags for banish, uh, bandages. Uh, the games keeper. Easy. At home in the countryside. Smi smells like badger. Large trap. Large trap. An alarm clock. Uh, whiskey. A sharp hatchet. Pliers. For reclaiming traps, pipe and tobacco, stick of dynamite, a fine piece of games, and rags for bandages. The inventor, buffing bristling with gadgetries. A strange scanner, toy train, alarms clock, pliers for reclaiming traps, a toy train again, and rags for bandages. The officer starts with a revolver, rifle, rifle ammo. Patriotic crockery, pipe and tobacco, revolver and rags. Cook, obviously starts with a lot of cook stuff. I'm getting a little tired of reading everything. The artist, starts with a lot of artisty things. The old soak. Lots of booze. Why don't we just d default the honorable choice, shall we? The central island is Euro. The north island is industrial, Euro, mountain. Okay, so I can change... Fens. Okay, we got rural, mountains, fens, industrial. So I'm gonna make that one mountains, that one fens, and that one rural. Yeah, I think that works. Cause that gives us one of each. Right? Fens, industrial. Well, yeah, rural, industrial, mountain, fens. So it's just like, which one do you want? Um, we'll go with. Um. Ah, hell yeah, we'll go with rural. I stopped that. Okay. Now, again, this is very early access uh, beta. Uh, it's game in progress, so crashes are possible. Bugs are definitely possible. Things like that. Keep that in mind. But this is kind of a first person survival crafting game. Uh, your resources are very limited, stealth is very. Uh, needed. There's a lot of things that can go wrong uh, very easily if you don't, you know, if you mess up. There's a whole lot of things that could happen. So, <sighs> well, this is cool. Get to actually see it kind of generating the map. It's got to generate each island individually. That's interesting. Now, this actually piqued my interest uh, when I first saw it. I think, I think I saw it through Reddit Games. I'm not sure. But I remember seeing it early, and I was kind of like, hmm, that's sort of interesting. And I casually followed its progress, and I actually started like, wow, this game is actually looking pretty cool. And the, they, they're... Actually, every time they do like a patch, every time they update the game, every time they do anything with it, they like put out a video t detailing the uh, things that they do, what changes they made. I mean, it, it's kind of like a League of Legends patch preview, but they tell you like everything. A at least everything really important. They don't tell you about like all the minor bug patches, you know. The game was crashing because this would happen, you know, this was a rare crash that would happen, things like that. So, you know, those things I think are kept out. You but hear this, then the experiment has gone terribly wrong. Hmm. I fear you may be trapped on the archipelago, but don't move. The standing stones should be nearby. With that, unless it's dark, you may still be able to escape. Listen very carefully. Listening. 
I can see why my it sounded so loud. I have my volume turned way up. But I'll play around with the sound. So perhaps you could look for the sound. Bring any you find back to Stanford's Then you should be able to get it. I'm dreadfully sorry, Madam, but this does mean postponing dinner time. I do hope you remember to eat something. You must want to keep your strength. Perhaps some tea and biscuits from one of the nearby houses? The residents don't mind because they're... Well, they're not at home. Oh, and do be careful, madam. You are being hunted. Hmm. Interesting. I like the little drawing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Actually, it's very reminiscent of Bioshock. Alright. You better believe right now that I'm going to be, like, creeping nearly everywhere I go. Find hidden doors and buildings shed even bottoms of dustbins. Note you can store items. Alright, so we get some binoculars. Oh yes, this is also there. loot shuffle. Now you can Canned pine? While keeping a safe distance. Rags. Alarm clock for distraction. Empty bottle is good. Brandy. Nice pies and a Christmas cake. So oh, I could do take all. I didn't see that. So hmm, can save progress at the stones. Apart from boats, this is the only place you can do so. Okay. Uh, okay, saving game. Assume it's saved. Yes, you can also hide. You can lean around corners, which is really cool. I have no idea what that blue light is. Maybe it's leading me to something. I have no idea. Looks like we got a nice fire pit here. Oh no, this is one of those things that I need. Return that fragment to the standing stones and leave it there. You'll be one step closer to home. So you can see those fragments take up quite a bit of room. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. I'm putting the kettle on there, madam. We'll have you home in no So I found one, twenty eight remain, eight on this island. Equipable. Equip slot one, okay. So that looks like all the examine this stuff that's here. Looks like there's buildings over there. So I would like to go and check that out. Now it's not bad actually. I'm pulling about 50 or so frames a second right now. While recording with Fraps on my machine, which is a bit older, it's still strong. It's still got a strong graphics card, a GTX 570. Um, 8 gigs of RAM, and I have a uh, i7, I think it's a 3.2 gigahertz processor, quad core. Uh, so, I think I'm okay to get up. You see, this, is, this isn't even beta, this is alpha. This is alpha, uh, this is just alpha. So, this should be very interesting. I don't know, can I get in this building through the door here? Mm -hmm. Yes, I can. It looks like there's something oh, the right, you can't. Oh, but, did you find anything edible? Don't look at this. Uh, chocolate. Chocolate biscuits. I don't want dead rats. 
Or skulls, boots, ammo. Definitely want ammo. Moldy bread. Nah, okay, that's all I want from there. Okay, so you can't go inside, but it does let you loot like if you were in the house. That looks intimidating. I think I just passed through the bench. Oh, shoot. They see me. I didn't even notice that. I didn't even see them. I'm already off to a horrible start, and I'm not sure how to... There we go. We're hauling ass in the other direction. I'm going to head for these trees and then duck down out here. This should give me enough stealth. Looks like that balloon's headed this way. That would be really crappy. But I'm in tall trees, so I have hope. You also stumbled on a cabin. Man, th this game. I like Starbound, but this game's already like, ooh, you know? I'm already like deep into this game. Uh, bones and just boots. Uh, they may come in handy later on, so. Okay. The balloon's over there, so I'm going to head this way. Looks like we may have another... I forget that the, the most likely place that you're going to encounter these robots that are hunting you are in the... Um, are in the towns. So... I'm not 100% sure how the visibility meter works right now. So... That's something else to keep in mind. See, like, if the balloon were to pass overhead, uh, I could hopefully, like, duck into some really dense foliage and hide from it. You know, because it looks like there's varying degrees of visibility according to the eye. The more visible the eye, the more visible I am. So, it's coming nighttime. That could definitely be an advantage for me. I have no idea what these markings on the maps mean. Alright, I see my enemies. Yeah, use those binoculars. The tough part is is that you need to get to towns in order to use stuff. I also have enemy markers on for now, which makes it a little easier, those little white dots, so I can see where they are. Alright, I don't see anything that way. That's just another one of those wisps. Okay to check the door here. Ah, oh, we get a flashlight. And blackberries. Actually, I'm going to use those now. Uh, don't know that I want to turn my flashlight on at this moment. Mm, and I think I don't know, I'll take the nasty weed killer just for whatever I think my hunters are moving off unpleasant eggs Just testing what it does to my vitality. It's a small stone. I can throw it for distraction. I gotta be real careful because I'm getting pretty close to these guys. 
empty bottle. Well, of course, you throw it for rags. And dense fruitcake. Why not? These guys are starting to get a little too close for comfort. And you see, you start off with, like, no ammo. Nothing to help you. I'm pretty sure I checked this already. I uh, guess not. These buildings still cover me. That's a strange formation out there. Oh. Make my way behind this rock in case I need to make a getaway. Which I probably do. Rabbit, I can hunt if I need to. Uh, through traps and weapons. Yeah, I'm gonna bug out of this town. Oh, well, why did I check? I probably already checked that. I'd rather just bug out of the town right now. I don't see any search balloons. I'm gonna head for that rock formation, I think. Yeah, nothing there. There's a search balloon over there. That's probably where I was. I'm gonna head for this rock. I gotta stay low. When I understand, they can see you at a distance. don't want that. Um, uh, I'm equip this in slot 2, and slot 3, and slot 4. Okay. Just in case I need to make distractions to get by or something. Alright, we're down in the gulch, so we're good to move a little bit. Down again. What kind of formation is this? Probably can't do anything with it. Oh, wait. Smoke. Smoke? Does that not mean... Oh, it's just a fire. It's a low-burning fire. Okay, I was having trouble seeing. Uh, mints. Okay. And matches. Alright. So I guess I could use that to cook. And this is the beacon to show me? Oh, that scared me. Um... Usable at fires. Um... I knew how. Okay, there we go. Now this could be a distraction. It's definitely an alert to where I am. Could also use it to cook. It may not have been the smartest thing to do in the world, but I'm, ex you know, experimenting right. Ah, uh, shit, see? See, I just lit up that fire and it was a beacon like nothing else. Look, here they come. Wow. That is intelligent as hell. I have never met an enemy that smart before. Oh, and they know where I am. See, they, they see me at a distance. They saw that fire. All right. See, experimentation, man. Experimentation. All right, get down. They can't see me now. They don't know where I am. Hopefully I can keep it down. Oh, no, he found me. Damn, there's smoke there, too. Ow, ow. I need to go all out and get ahead of these guys. I'm bleeding. I need to make bandage. Yeah, 
you know, just trying to stay ahead of them right now and try and get somewhere where they hopefully can't see me. All right, so I accidentally crashed the game because I have run on alt and duck on tab. So I didn't let go. This is a problem I've run into before because this is my preferred setup. Um, because I didn't let go of alt fast enough, I tabbed out of the game and it caused it to crash. But still, that's a hell of a learning experience. I See, I lit that fire and things came from a long distance to come after me. So I got to move my crouch button. I like my uh, sprint button on my alt. But I've got to move my crouch button, so I may move that back to the C button. Uh, matter of fact, why don't I do that now? Um, crouch. C. Okay. So that was an interesting learning experience already. And definitely something I'm looking forward to doing uh, more of. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to bringing you more of this game. Unfortunately, i got to start back from the point where I last saved. Because like it said, the only places you can save are at the stones or at the boats. And all that progress I just went through, I lost. But, you know, live and learn. I'm not mad about it. I'm really looking forward to playing this game. I think it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. So I really hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoy bringing it to you. Because out of the two games, I'm going to try and bring both. But if I have to choose, I'm choosing uh, this one over Starbound. But I don't think I'll have to choose. I think I'll just be bringing a lot more content uh, to my games. As a matter of fact, I may set up like a schedule like this, these, this game comes out on these days, this game comes out on these days, and this game comes out on these days. And then my building a company will come out on every day. Um, until the company is built, which by then will probably be into American Truck Simulator, um, which will then probably take place for a little while. Uh, so, uh, as I was saying, I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you folks. Until next time, this is going to be One Big Bugger signing out. I'll see you then.